Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Talk. I'm Matt Kay, and today I'm talking about Action Comics 977. If you've been missing out on all the Superman action, there's been a lot going on. We found out uh, in the last big event, Superman Reborn, that the Man of Steel was split into two by someone unseen, but after facing Mr. Mixelplix, we see the new 52 Superman and Papa Superman merge together to create one Superman, who has always been around with both origins merging as well. But what does it mean? Who is this new Superman? What's his origin and what has changed? Well, if you're watching, you're in luck because this issue is going to delve into that. Starting off, this issue shows that Clark Kent is back and working at the Daily Planet along with Lois Lane, his wife. It appears the fact that they have a son, John Kent, has been common knowledge since his birth. Also, the couple are planning to move back to the city from Hamilton County, which is over 200 miles away. All this new info only from the first couple pages. After this, Superman travels to his fortress of solitude because despite his new origin, he still remembers the Mixelplex attacks and asks to be shown his past more for us readers to get a glimpse at his history than it is for the actual story. It starts off where these stories always begin, on Krypton, where we see more of a New 52 look to the Kryptonians. We see that Superman's father Jor-El and his mother Lara, as they are once again forced to deal with the fact that the planet is headed towards destruction, and once again Jor-El makes a futile attempt to plead with the Science Council. As we all know, this doesn't go as planned, as Jor and Lara are forced to send their only son to Earth, where the Yellow Sun will allow him to survive. Baby Kal-El is sent to Earth as his home planet explodes, but what really makes this depressing is Superman watching his parents, his people, and his planet all be destroyed right in front of him. His space pod, of course, lands in Smallville, Kansas, where he is found by none other than Jonathan and Martha Kent, who once again decide to raise him as their own son, since they were never able to have children. The rest is history as we see that Pete Ross and Lana Lang were still his best friends growing up, Lex was also around with his orange curly haired look, and eventually the move to Metropolis where he works at the Daily Planet and finally comes out as Superman for the first time. Also in this issue, we see a mysterious hologram going around helping Superman's enemies as he recruits both Metallo and Blank to whatever plan they are up to. This could also be the same character who has managed to infiltrate his Fortress of Solitude as we see the shape of, this, of some kind of figure in his Kryptonian crystal. Overall, very simple issue. Still good though. They basically just simplified the origin, bringing back parts everybody knows and making Smallville Lex canon. Plus, he had the Super Coral when he was a baby, so don't tell me that doesn't just melt your heart. Also, his Smallville origin is essentially the same as his secret origin story from all the way back in 2010. If you guys want to check that, I definitely recommend it. It looks like they just decided to make that one the canon one. Of course, um, with such a simple origin story, there's still plenty of opportunities for writers to throw in small bits that we didn't know or re-canonize something like... Are both of Clark's parents still dead, or no? Anyways, as DC Rebirth continues on, we're sure to find out more about his origin and his all-around history of the character. Like always, if you have any comments or questions, just let me know, I'll do my best to answer them. But until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.